Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Hello Caroline. Hello Patrick, how are you doing today? I'm doing very well, thank you sweetheart, and you? Well you already know, um, <laughs> how can I say it? I'm already at my question. Well, I feel great. It's okay, good. Feel great. Good. Um, we decided not to do a premiere today so uh, it should run a lot smoother than last time um, before we do the protection is there anything you want to say sweetheart sure as usual but this time it's going to be really quick so here i copy and paste the link for um the video on how to build your question everything you need to know it's in that video i encourage everybody to go see it in Okay, Caroline, thank you for that. Um, You're welcome. I just had this terrible feeling that it's not recording, but it tells me that it's recording. <laughs> the volume I'm on about. I am paranoid today. Well, anyway. Or maybe Uran is trying to joke on you. <laughs> That's your department, not mine. <laughs> Oh boy. Anyway, oh, we're going to get through this. <laughs> we'll we'll manage. So let's do yeah. the um, protection, whatever it is, ritual. I don't like the word ritual. The protection process, and then we'll yes. get straight into the questions. If that's all right with you. Yeah, that's fine with me. Okay. Imagine a white ball of light above your head. It is pure white. It is a pure ball of love. It moves slowly down your body towards your feet. As it moves, it covers you in love. It encompasses you in a bubble of love. When it gets to your feet and you are totally encompassed in this bubble, you can set the thickness of the skin in other words, you can set the protection so that no negative influence, frequency, energy or even entity can pass through it. We also ask protection from any interruptions and we ask for this protection bubble to expand so it can encompass our home, our loved ones and our pets, all those we love. At this point you should feel a nice warm glow in your heart. I've got that now so I know my protection is set. Thank you Caroline. And I'm sending mine through YouTube to reach everybody in the chat room right now. 
And if you and to protect YouTube too. Excellent, thank you. If it, anyone watching can send us protection as well, we don't want any interruptions today. We had three last time, and that's three too many. Yeah. So um, this is where we say cheerio to Caroline for a little while. Yeah. Bye. And it's just me on the screen now, Caroline. So um, I'm ready for your first question. All right. Let's just feel gratitude for all the frequency that's going to come true to answer our question. And the first question is for me. Greetings, all frequency. Do we have permission today to speak with source frequency, planet frequency, dragon frequency, loved one frequency, and animal frequency? Yes. Okay, here we go. So here, listen up people. When we stop Friday, uh, the list from uh, March 9, the next question was mine, which was uh, in the list that I put on March 9, and we only getting it to it now. When we stopped, it was my next question. And before, um, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just don't don't do anything, don't say anything, Patrick just said. I'm just gonna read it so people can understand, okay? So the question was for Uranus frequency from me and it goes greetings your anus during the podcast with Patrick you send me your frequency and I always have a joke in my pocket can you explain to me why you are making me joke so much in a time where people expect me to be serious in other words what's for your defense thank you so that was my question I post I did put in the list long time ago. And Friday we stopped before that. Yesterday I was with Root, my friend Root, and um, all of a sudden we have a ha ha moment. We created a video and here is the link of my video. I'm going to put it in the chat room right here. And I believe that uh, Patrick's going to put that link also in the description box. And also, you're going to have that video on your channel, won't you? Yeah. So you can all check it out. <laughs> and um, as I was writing this question, I remember saying, why don't you, when you answer, why don't you send us, like, a good joke, a joke that everybody around the planet's gonna laugh at you know everybody no nobody cannot laugh like it's defenseless you gotta see that you're gonna laugh and uh, that was the result of the joke now at this point Patrick I'm gonna ask you the question and see what kind of respond we get how about that ready when you are okay greeting Uranus during the podcast with Patrick, you send me your frequency and I always have a joke in my pocket. Can you explain to me why you are making me joke so much in a time where people expect me to be serious? In other words, what's for your defense? Thank you. You humans are too serious. You need to, in your terminology, lighten up. It's good to laugh, enjoy it, finish. Oh yeah, we got such a bad laugh. Uh, I peed my pants for real. I really did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Uranus. Okay, it sounds weird saying that, but it is what it is. <laughs> okay, so now we get in those two questions. We got cut off Friday. Okay. So the first question is from Vanessa Kessler and she's trying to uh, reach her sister Amy. Okay. 
loved one. So the question is, I miss you dearly and I hope you are extremely happy. Does your spirit experience dimensional travel as your soul reincarnated into my daughter or another family member? Do you have a message for me? I am, well, I am happy. I am content. I have been offered the opportunity to reincarnate. I have not accepted that as yet. I am not ready. I am enjoying where I am. I am enjoying being able to spend time with those I love. I can travel throughout this universe. I can travel across different dimensions. It is truly awe-inspiring. Do not worry about me. I am fine. Finish. Well, <coughs> thank you, Amy. Then we have a truth seeker. That question was for Earth Frequency and we got cut off too. Okay. Is it true that there is a crystal orb in the inner earth that sustain and nurture life there? What happened to the crystal orb that used to be on the surface of earth? The crystal structures that are within the earth are very very powerful there is not one at the exact center it does surround the whole planet it is heading towards the surface the closer it gets to the human population more people will have their abilities activated when this crystalline structure breaks through the surface then all abilities will be activated this will be a wondrous occasion finish wow heart nearly popped out my chest there Oh, I can't wait to watch this over again. Oh, and see the, the, the transcript. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, next question. Beautiful War Goddess has a question for Source Frequency. Okay. Is it true they have the real us captured elsewhere and we are being forced and enslaved to project our 3D reality here on Mother The physical 3D part of your existence is, as stated before, an electrical holographic universe. The essence within this 3D world is actually yourself, the real you. It is possible to be elsewhere and project, but most of you are here. You were tricked into entering this existence, to entering what you call prison planet. Do not worry about these things. The message remains the same. Live in the moment. Live with love. Do not fear. That is all you have to do. Finish. You know, every time I hear that answer, 
live in the love, all you need is love, and all I can think of is that song from John Lennon. All you need is love. Da, 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 da. The Beatles, yeah. Oh, yeah, that was the Beatles. See, that was before I was born. See, mm. John Lennon was in the Beatles with Paul McCartney, George Harrison, and Ringo Starr. Okay. So it was a Beatles song, not a John. Okay. Although John Lennon and Paul McCartney wrote it, it was. They wrote it, but who sings it? Well, the main singer is John Lennon. Yes. Okay, I wasn't that bad. Yeah, but it wasn't a solo <laughs> performance. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. One of I his know, famous right. solo performances was Imagine. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine all the people. <laughs> Okay, next question. Abby Med has a question for Dragon Firebird. Okay. Last summer, was it a dragon I saw in the cloud? Thank you. Sorry, nothing there for that one, Caroline. Okay. That wasn't interrupted, by the way. There was just nothing there. No. Um, I I believe Abby that this is because uh, you don't give enough detail. Like um, I don't know. Maybe we need to work on your question, plain and simple. That's how I feel. If you help her, Caroline, we'll reformulate it and try again. Yeah, and uh, you can put your question in the chat room here now, or if you miss the live show, you can do it under in the comment, and I will help you, okay? Cool. Let's not give up. So then we have uh, Zank Frapp as a question for... Okay, that's, that's, that's where I need you to help me a little bit. Okay. Here, uh, I'm not sure. Uh, we have never said that quifferency to begin with. So I'm going to tell you who he tried to reach. He wants to reach the frequency of the galactic center of this galaxy. Okay. Would that be the domain? I don't know. No, he's not asking about the domain. He wants to know if the galaxy has a consciousness itself. No, no. Yeah, no. well, yeah. But that's not the question. No. No. You'll have to refresh my mind. <coughs> that's the frequency he wants to, to reach for the frequency of the galactic center of this galaxy. And then the question is, when and what happened to cause the distortion of the galactic arm in which we are? I think that question was answered last time that we're traveling across the galaxy. That question was answered the last time. Not on about the galactic center frequency, if there is such a thing. I'm on about why we're we've moved from where we were that yeah quest the, that, the question that, from that, the sun that question has been answered why we're not where we were okay so check the transcripts um you can try and contact the galactic center if you like but um we'll just see what happens all right then we have beautiful war goddess a question for source frequency. Okay. How was the most high source creator created? There is an original creator consciousness that has always been there. Everything else is an extension of that creator it primarily started with thought everything was thought into existence finish okay so I hope it answer your question then we have uh, Michael Kate as a question for source frequency okay 
Does numerology and gematria play a, re a real part in our event play out in our lives in this physical plane? This numerology and gematra in particular is used by those who believe they are in power to manipulate events they will prophesy an event to happen at a certain time and they will then manipulate events to make it match a numerical equation numbers are important they can influence you they cannot force you finish Then we have Paola Sanchez. Uh, do you say Paola Sanchez? Paolo. It's it's P A O L A. Paolo. Pa Paula. I don't know. I'm not Spanish. We do. Well, sorry if I butcher your name. Just ask the question, darling. Uh, it's for source frequency. Okay. Should I be doing again bodybuilding or should I continue on with my next mission in life? Thank you. Sorry, nothing there. Sorry. Then we have Abby Med as a question for source frequency. Okay. Will my husband condition improve? Will he get his energy level back? Thank you. His condition can be improved. You can bring it about with your own energy, your own frequency. Talk to his body. If he is able, ask him to talk to his body. Be grateful. Sorry, that's just gone. That was an interruption. Again? Yeah. yeah. Tell you what, Caroline, let's try again. Start from the scratch with that oh. question. Okay, let's try this. <sighs> so the question is, will my husband condition improve? Will he get his energy level back? He can improve his physical condition. He has the power to heal himself. You can assist him with this by using your frequency and your energy. Be thankful of his body. Show gratitude towards his body. Live in love and believe it will happen and the universe will have no option but to make it happen. Finish. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> then we have uh, Paula Sanchez again. A uh, question for Earth Frequency. Okay. Is my family clean of karmic burden? If not, what I have to do to break those patterns. Thank you. Karmic influences spread across many lifetimes. You do not get to the position where all karmic debt is paid. You have to raise your frequency so that you can endure these difficult times and learn from them. The experience is more important than the paying of a debt. Finish. Thank you. 
Then we have Cassiopeias has a love one question. Okay. For Grampy Pat. Okay. Do you have a message for my mammy, Jerry? I want you to know how wonderful it is this side of the veil you call death. I am free from pain. I have clear thinking abilities. I enjoy watching everybody. I can visit you any time I choose. I just think of it and I am there. Please talk to me and I will let you know my presence is there. I love you all. Finish. <coughs> wow. That one was nearly out of my chest. I could feel that. Wow. I could can feel I just, that. Can I just say something here, Caroline? Yes, do. I'm coming to the conclusion that when we make contact with a deceased loved one, it takes an awful lot of energy on their side to communicate. And it's not necessarily the words that they say that is important. It is the feeling you get from it. That's right. The feeling will confirm to you that it is them and will give you much more than any word can. Oh, I, I, I believe that now 100%. Okay, that's. I just thought that needed saying because that that's quite obvious to me now. Well, uh, it's not. It's not just that. A lot of people are following your work and they are reaching out to you for advice and they are waking up to their ability and they try the tarot and the pendulum and this and that. But those are only tools. In the end, when you do the connection with uh, a frequency and you try to find out what kind of frequency you are reaching out to it's not always easy and for you to give us input like that it's it's important it's helping people that are actually trying to work their ability i i think everybody should do it themselves you know we we can all do it just try and experiment find whatever it is that helps you focus your intention and do it anyway next question caroline next question is for litty okay and it's a question for source frequency okay when will my husband get a job and will we uh, will we have to move There is work out there for him. He may have to lower his expectation of salary. It may be necessary to move, but that is not set. It is ultimately up to you as a couple. Do not worry about such events. This is all part of the human experience. Finish. All right. Then we have uh, Jones that uh, want to connect with uh, the divine angel. Who's that? The frequency. The question is, can you show me the path or way Please, I am supposed to walk with clear sign in my message. Thank you. I don't know who to con try and connect with, Caroline. And I did ask that person uh, about the frequency, but I didn't get any response. So, Jones, if you want some help on this question, please... Uh, 
put a comment under this video. I, I think um, there's more than one angel. I think there's more than one divine angel. Yeah. Needs to be more specific, and I'll give it another go. Yeah, uh, a name of an angel, maybe. Could be, depends whether it's an archangel or depends who they're thinking of. But I don't know that. Right. So then we have beautiful war goddess as a question for source frequency. Okay. I have ruptured disc in my spinal cord and I need surgery. I'm in extreme pain, but I'm afraid of surgery with risk of being paralyzed. Will I be healed, please? You will be much better after the surgery. You will be protected during the surgery. You will not have a total healing. There will be remnants of this condition with you for the remainder of this incarnation, but you will be able to do what it is you wish to do. Finish. That's good news. Great. Then we have ID uh, Martin Kerman. Okay. Kirkman. The it's for the sun frequency. Okay. Is it correct that there are two sun named Helios and Theos that are one and that we can see Helios but not Theos? Is that correct? Thank you. Love you. There is a second sun. It is a binary system. We do not use names for each other. We recognize each other's frequency. Putting a label on us is a human trait. Finish. All right. That was interesting. Then here I just want to mention the question is for Kathleen and uh, she posted a, a comment saying that I butcher her name, her <laughs> username. She said, okay, by the way, my name is Kathleen. I'm like, so from now on, I'm calling you Caitlin only. It's Kathleen. <laughs> Kathleen, isn't it? Kathleen. Yeah. Ka Kathleen. Meerkat, you're on Ka about, you're on about okay. meerkat, aren't you? Kathleen. Kathleen, Kat yeah. Kathleen. Meerkat is the name she goes by, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I think it's Kathleen. If I'm wrong, I apologize. <laughs> no, you're not wrong. Kathleen, how do you like how I pronounce your name, Kathleen? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the question is for her future self. Future self. Future self. Okay. What path should I pursue or is there anything I should be focusing on now? You have many adventures ahead of you. When I look back at our life, I cannot help but smile. It is a wondrous experience. There are many changes about to happen at the time where you are now. The best advice I would give myself is to trust in your own judgment, trust in your own feelings and enjoy life. Finish. Wow. Oh, wow. Now I want to put a question for my future self. <laughs> ah, so that was the last question uh, that I had on my list uh, Friday that was related to March 9. Okay. And now we are going to start the question I have collected between Friday and today. Okay. So the first question is for Barbara Burns. 
a question for a dry, the dragon firebird. Okay. What color are you? Did you men try to kill all the dragons and how long ago? I am a shiny golden color with a hint of purple. Humans have always tried to kill us. They always fail. Finish. Good. <laughs> I like the idea they always fail. That's why they had to put it in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what? I got to tell you this. Fire, Firebird is the first dragon we've met, right? The first one, and, yeah. And uh, she's a lady. And the only image of a dragon I could get in my head thinking of her is the dragon from the, the movie... Uh, the never-ending story. All right, yes. Uh, yeah. That's how I picture her. Okay. With a female voice. All right. Say, I'm a lady. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Wayne's never going to uh, forget that, is he? Oh, boy, nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> uh, okay. I, 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 I think that if I would know him, I would, I would think that he's having a blood pressure issue. <laughs> Anyway, let's get on with the question, shall we, sweetheart? The next question is for a deceased son. And I don't have the name. So, It's Me is trying to reach a deceased son. The question is, is there anything you'd like to share with me, your mom? Can I just say, Caroline, these ones are very close to me and uh, there is a connection there. I want you to say it again, please. Okay. S can you say it slower? Slower. Mm -hmm. Just the question. The same question, yeah. Okay. Deceased son, is there anything you'd like to share with me, your mom? I am overflowing with love. It is truly amazing to be able to enter a family to feel the unconditional love to enjoy the the activity that surrounds a birth of a child. I have many, many fond memories. I cherish all of them. I am with you. I am waiting for you. Much love. Finish. <coughs> okay, okay, Caroline. You want this sip of water? Yeah, good idea, mate. Good idea. Coconut water. Love it. Yeah. Sweet Caroline. <laughs> ba, ba, ba. You know, we're getting too good at it, so I need to find a spot where I can put that in, you know? <laughs> you know we all go to sleep hearing that <laughs> song, don't you, Caroline? <laughs> You want to know the truth about that song? Go on then. I, I've never liked that song at okay. all my whole life until summer 2016. I'm in the Book and at that time I work at the lobster plant and I do crazy hours and I'm ending a week of uh, 72 hours. I'm, I'm drawn and all of a sudden they're having in town that big festival of um, scallop and they have that big great party and the music out loud there was quite 
some far from my place, but the music was so loud, I couldn't keep my window open. I would only hear the music. And at the beginning, I thought it was a neighbor, but it was not. So I start walking down the street. And when I got to the, the, the tent where they had the, 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 the show, the group that was animating there uh, was seeing, when I got at the door, they start uh, singing the song Sweet Caroline and when I got at the tent and when I got at the door everybody was singing Sweet Caroline <laughs> bam, bam, bam. it's like okay at this point I have no choice but to love that song you know it's, <laughs> I'm like whoa I've always liked Neil Diamond's music so you know that's I don't know. There's something more about that song uh, for me, uh, but yeah, it's now I like the, the song and I just keep on singing. It. Okay, mostly on this show, hey. <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay. So then we have Zupet that has a question for source frequency. Okay. I have so. Uh, I, I, uh, sorry. I have severe neuropathy in my neck. What can I do to stop the pain naturally and perhaps heal this? The best thing for you to do is to search for a an holistic practitioner that has experience in this field. You can try lots of natural remedies you could try CBD oil without the THC component you can also try distraction there are ways to alleviate your pain keep searching you will find an answer finish thank you then we have Sona Livingston that has a question for her higher self frequency okay do you have a message for me I keep feeling an, an urgency thank you I wish to make contact with you I want to be in daily communication with you. Please take time to meditate on a daily basis. Focus your intention on me, your higher self. We can achieve a connection where we can communicate with each other. I have your best interests at heart we will make a good team believe in yourself that is the number one advice I can give you set your intention set your focus be determined finish thank you then we have uh, 523325JOY as a question for earth frequency. Okay. When is the time when people should move away from the shoreline of their continent due to flooding? Thank you and bless you. The decision to move is a personal one. If you move away from a coastline because you are fearful of flooding or even a tsunami that does not eliminate you from danger there will be meteor strikes there will be fires there will be eruptions nowhere is safe this is why we repeatedly say live in the moment enjoy the now 
I got to say this, uh, Patrick. I live in New Brunswick, and I'm by the coast. I only have to drive five minutes, and I see the ocean. Mm -hmm. And uh, when we were told that to um, to accumulate water, that now would be a good time to start, I'm like, nope, absolutely not. I'm not going to run to the store and spend all the money I have on water supply, just in case. I'm not going to live in fear, so I'm not going to do that. Therefore, I'm not going to move out of here because I fear. A tsunami. If a tsunami happens, so there be it. If a tsunami happens and you die, you will still be here. The real you inside that meat suit. Don't mean to be derogatory, Caroline, but yeah, it's a meat no, suit. No. Yes. Um, likewise, everybody else, we will survive whatever cataclysm happens. Don't worry about it. it Anyway, uh, we be we are being told to stop fearing that. So mm. uh, there's a great reason is because uh, it's not gonna be uh, it's gonna be a great event, but it's not gonna be uh, terrible stuff that we could ever imagine or seen from Hollywood. Okay, so take all that out of your mind. It's gonna be a great event, but. Um, it's going to be safe. I, I don't believe in that tsunami, you know, thing. And, okay, if it does happen, because it happened before, well, whatever. I don't feel I'm going to die here now. En enjoy this no. moment. That's, all, the, that's, that's right. all you have, this moment. That's right. Okay. That's right. Next then question. Then we have Charmaine has a question for source frequency. Okay. Who is the orb that watch me? This is a guardian of yours, a guide, a teacher, someone who has been with you before in other Incarnations, incarnations. This is not anything to fear when you feel their presence or see them. Talk to them. You may be surprised of the response. Finish. Mm. Yeah, I tried that and now I see my cat. <laughs> Brilliant. Then we have David Fernandez. Okay. That has a question for his higher self. Okay. I am trying to connect with you. Please give me any suggestion to help make this happen. Thank and much love. You are trying too hard. Relax. Talk to me as if you would talk to a friend. Be relaxed. Chill out, dude. Finish. Uh, What's the matter, yeah. Caroline? But that's the name of my show. Chill, <laughs> man. Chill. <laughs> mm. um. I, I get it. Uh, yeah, yeah, mum. My mum is strongly with me. And then we have uh, Grandma Linda. It's a question for source frequency. Okay. It's about Joshua. So, Joshua is very sensitive to noise and frequency. Are these sounds causing him a pain in his head or ear? And is there anything we can do to help him? It is not physical pain. It is confusion. All you can do is comfort him. 
let him know you love him help him at these difficult times he is a special individual he is aware of the world around you most of which you cannot see enjoy his company that is the best advice finish <clears throat> Wow, thank you very much. Then we have Anna Halve. A question for yourself. Okay. Do you have a message for me? Thank you. Sorry, nothing there, sweetheart. Ouch. If you want to connect with your higher self try keep trying look stand in front of a mirror look deep into your eyes and talk to your higher self yeah you, know, you have and you have to activate these abilities they're in all of us and also you know uh, evolve your question if you always keep on um, asking for a message you're gonna end up to a point you won't get any I'm not saying that's your case Anna but uh, um, you know this, if there's something specific you want to know ask the question yeah. ask the question specific like uh, I smelled like fur yesterday was it you, <laughs> you <know? laughs> Caroline you make me laugh <laughs> well, listen, I got to find a, you know, a example that people are going to remember, you know. I'm getting it's concerned like about your relationship <laughs> with Uranus. He's having a negative <laughs> effect on you. <laughs> he really is. All these fart jokes you keep saying. <laughs> listen, he, hey, he, he answered the question in the beginning. <laughs> He, he said why so <laughs> okay <laughs> let's go for the next question okay then uh, um how much time do we have left that's a very Just, good point isn't it yes uh, according to my calculation we've got about 35 minutes something like that 35 minutes left yeah okay so then the next question is for Barbara Burns. Okay. It's for a deceased dog. The name is King Pen. Okay. He came to me at very young age and got taken away from him when I was 14. Does he know it was not my choice and that I love him so much I cried for a long time. The connection we shared was a very strong bond. <clears throat> I know when we were separated it was against my will, it was against your will we will meet again I do visit you I sleep on your bed I enjoy being with you I still love you finish <clears throat> wow I love that dogs are special I know you're a yeah. cat person Caroline yeah. but dogs are special oh yeah yeah. I, 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 I'm, a, I'm an animal lover, yeah. regardless, but I have a favorite, which is cat. Okay. Like, an animal lover is an animal lover, and mm. uh, you can't take that out. But there is always a favorite, and for Ruth, it's horses, and I'm pretty sure any animal would come to her, she would love them the same, but she she's tuned with the frequency of the horse and I'm tuned with the frequency of the cat 
So okay. It is, it is what it is. It is what it it's, is. Then we have Dart Raven. Okay. And it's for source frequency. When you're ready. Why do I keep coming coming back? Thanks. You can leave, but you need to make the decision to leave. You need to prepare to leave. You need to just say no. Finish. Well, I hope that answers your question. Then we have Cassiopeia, a question for a source frequency. Okay. Who was interfering with your connection with Patrick during the live show? I'm not sure if you're going to answer that one. I know who it was, but I'm not going to say on camera. All right, Cassie. We can't... Uh, I'm not going to let Patrick. it. I'm not going to let it stop me. Put it that way. That's right. So let's not fear. See, we we got control. We have. I will. Question. I will say it's, it's nothing demonic or anything like that, but it is a concerted effort to try and interrupt the signal. That's right. So. Then we have uh, Trish Killian that has a question for source frequency. Okay. Since I have no close family on the other side, will I have anyone there to greet me? Of course, you will meet your guides. You will meet angels. You will meet many many beings that are aware of your existence you are a pioneer you will be here to wait for others and help them do not fear this event it will be very memorable for you it will be an amazing experience finish wow once again then we have angel moon for her higher self frequency okay do you see love coming soon thank you love should be ever present if you are asking about a romantic relationship if it is truly what you want, then you must go searching. You must have lots of interaction with people. You must develop relationships, possibly as a friendship to begin with. The success in this area is entirely up to you. Finish. Thank you. Then we have Dart Raven has a question for source frequency. Okay. Is there anyone waiting for me on the other side? Didn't we just answer that one? Was that somebody else? Uh, yeah. L last week, uh, well, last Friday, we had like a lot of copycat. Uh, one person has a question for a higher self, and then I get four people that has a question for a higher self. Right. And then uh, somebody asks, will there be anyone for me on the other side? And then someone else, <gasps> will there be someone else, uh, someone for me waiting for me on the other side too? I want to know too. Right? I, I uh, understand. They see the question. They think, oh, that's a good question. I'll ask yeah. that. They oh. want to know for themselves, so okay. uh, I'm expecting that uh, Dart Raven will probably get the same answer than um, you never know, Trish. But we never know, so it's it's personal to everybody. Like Trish and Dart, they are two 
different people, right? As far and as we are, and they both want to know the same. They bo they both want to know the same thing. So what, what what I'm not here to judge. No question. As long as I know to who you ask, and I can read your question for you, Just and I have it. your name. Uh, yeah. uh, that's all I need. I, I'm not here to discriminate. No question, at all. Just ask so it. Okay, let's do this again. Then we have Dart Revan. The question for source frequency. Is okay. there anyone waiting for me on the other side? There is always someone waiting for everyone before you incarnate into this existence there are loved ones with you there are friends that have been with you during many lifetimes there will be those you recognize when you pass over you may not have seen them physically during this incarnation but you will have an instant recognition finish wow. Wow. so um, I'm not sure if I have that question again just yet but do I take it that uh, the question is answered like uh, it's going to be pretty much the same for everybody. We all need to well, know if, that if they haven't got loved ones waiting for them, then they may find loved ones that they don't know about, or they may find relationships from a soul family or a different lifetime. But the, nobody goes over there alone. No. What can you say? Nothing else. So, um, are we clear with that question? Yeah, I would say so. I would say so. If it, Everybody, if it, if it get asked again, refer them to the previous question, yeah, which is this one. Yes, I will do that. My green screen's so, trying to come through. Can you see that? Uh, no. That's better. What? How's that? No, that's too much. We'll just have to put up with it. I'm very pickety. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next question. Okay. Then we have Cassiopeia that has a question for her higher self. Was that always just a sleep paralysis or was there more to it? How can I reach you? Thank you. The sleep paralysis happens to many and it was the case for you if you wish to contact me just ask finish thank you then we have uh, Lindahl Davidson yeah a question for source frequency okay what was the show the shadow that I saw pass in front of my car yesterday. Thank you. It was a negative entity. It was not interested in you. It was trailing somebody else. You are perfectly safe. Finish. Okay. Then we have um, a loved one question. Okay. So Teresa Ogan want to reach her mother, Marta. Okay. The question goes like this. Mom, do you have a message for me? Sorry. Okay. I get the feeling that asking for a message isn't sufficient enough. You wouldn't walk up to your mum and say, Hey mum, you got a message for me. 
So it's very important that when you try to reach a deceased one, picture, you talk picture to them, them. Picture them physically standing in front of you as if they were alive and talk to them like that. Normally. Normally. Yeah. If, by, if, one by of the you, apple. if one of your children came up to you and said, Mum, have you got a message for me? Yeah. You'll get so much more out of the answer if you do that. I guarantee it. So, Teresa, think of a better question. Put it in the comments so I can help you if anything. And I, I will help you and make it a better question to ensure a response. Then we have Zank Frapp has a question for source frequency. Okay. Do I have any implant, physical or otherwise, in my body aura, and what can I do to resolve this? It has been said before, every human has technology inside them, nanotechnology from chemtrails. Other humans are taken and experimented upon and have implants inserted. You do not finish. Okay. Then we have Truth Seeker, Source Frequency. Okay. What is the cause of Morgellion disease? And what is the cure for people that suffer from it? Thank you. I refer you to the previous answer. Uh, Morgellian? Yeah. Morgellian's disease, yeah. Same thing. Okay. Well, people, you know, uh, I do my best, but when you uh, duplicate, when you don't look at uh, what we've done previously before and you come in and you put your question and uh, I can fail uh, it's possible that I, is the uh, first I believe that's the first question where someone's mentioned more gallons but it's the same it's it's technology yeah so uh, yeah the, the question was already done so well thank you source frequency for putting me to place and say hey remember we talked about it Okay. More, more gallons is slightly different because they come out of the skin like little black worms, but it's still yeah. it's still technology. Yeah. Then uh, the next question is from Dart uh, Raven. Okay. A question for the Green Dragon frequency. Okay. May I know your name, please, and thank you. My name is Samuel. Hello Samuel, as mentioned, our language is very difficult to translate. I have what you would call a nickname. You can call me Emerald. Finish. What? Well. Makes sense. Green dragon, emerald. Is, is emerald green? Is it? I have no idea. <laughs> Shall I say clever? I, th I think. I think it is green. Emerald is green. Okay. Well, that makes sense, then, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't. I can't think straight. <laughs> <laughs> so oh. then we have a mother love, Tama. Okay. A question for Earth frequency. Okay. Some humans say they can live without consuming food and in some case water. What source of nutrition are our doctor missing? Sorry. Nothing no. there. And I'm having a hard time to to understand the question. I, I have. So. I, I know. 
I understand the question. I, I know there are people who go without food and water and they manage to survive, but yeah. there wasn't a connection there on that particular one. Okay, so here is a question directly for you, Patrick. Oh, for me? Yes. Okay. I believe. Uh, it's from Time Monk. Okay. Uh, he says, 3D Patrick. <laughs> That's me, all right. <laughs> yeah. So, did the entity Shakira communicate with you after the show with Wayne? <laughs> there was no communication, but there was a presence. The presence has now gone. Okay. I think she's more interested in Wayne. <laughs> Please be more interested in Wayne. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, you're lucky Wayne doesn't watch your show. I am. I know he doesn't. That's why I said it. <laughs> well, watch it. He's going to watch this one. <laughs> <laughs> She'll tell him to watch it. No, yeah. I won't. <laughs> Not you. Shakira will tell him okay. to watch it. <laughs> oh, possible. <laughs> Very possible. Then we have a beautiful war goddess that's trying to reach her father. And the name of her father is Sacred Tree Mountain. Okay. The question is, is there anything you want to tell me? We come from a long line of gifted individuals we have a special place within our culture and our heritage but you already know this I would like to talk with you on a regular basis take time to focus on my energy we have much to discuss remember I will always love you finish well that was a strong connection and she's gonna be happy with that Hope I so. had to I had to help her with that question okay and she's native so uh, oh, okay yeah. That's why uh, you get a sacred tree mountain for That's the name of her father, which I couldn't understand at the beginning. But okay. since we did work it out, uh, it's perfect. It's, it's okay. just, wow. Okay. She's going to be happy, man. She's going to be happy. Good. I, I hope you're not driving when you watch our show because, uh, yeah, <laughs> no driving during our show, please wait home before to watch it okay patrick we are at that word i asked you how to pronounce okay would you like me to say it again please the, Un the untethered Un untethered untethered yes. Un when something is tethered to something it is tied either by a physical means or a non-physical means and it becomes untethered untied this connected so I understand that it's just the pronunciation yeah, where untethered. in the middle of the word there's a T and the H that's pronounced like a V to me the French uh, Quebecer you know so yeah. untethered I'm probably saying it incorrectly but it's untethered it's where I come from uh, I was going to say untethered, so... Uh, no, you not know? untethered, no. Not untethered. Untethered. Yeah. So I'm going to go on with the question now. Okay. And who is this for, please? Uh, Claudia J is asking a question for sur uh, sun frequency. Okay. Are we supposed to be untethered from the galaxy? Why are we moving towards the unknown darkness? We 
are travelling across the galaxy towards an unknown region of space. We were we were joined to this galaxy from outside. We were never a part of the creation of this galaxy. We have always been travellers. Finish. Wow, didn't know that. Whoa! This is the mission! Great Our question. Our solar system. Great question. We are the mission. The solar system is the mission. Uh, that's the insight I just got. All right. Then we have uh, Cassiopeia that had a question for source frequency. Okay. Is my first child around me, even though he or she was only 12 weeks? We love you much. Thank you. These connections are eternal. They cannot be broken. All family connections are active. You are no different. This is a strong bond. Finish. Okie dokie. Then we are Richard Garrett. Uh, Garbet. Excuse me. <laughs> Richard Garbet. I know who you mean, yeah. Richard, if you are driving, now it's a good time to pull <laughs> over. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, okay. if you, Richard, if you don't pull over, Caroline will sing to you again. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, we're going to give him the delay of 10 seconds, you know. Okay. Uh, 10 second delay for the YouTube thing. Okay. Okay, 10 seconds over, so 10 seconds to park. <laughs> when you're ready. Oh, he's trying to uh, reach a deceased dog. Okay. The name is Bean. Can you tell me what happened to you and Richard the day you passed? Thank you. Try again, Caroline, please. Uh, the question yes, is please. from Richard Garbett. Wants to reach, uh, reach the dog, the deceased dog, Bean. Can you tell me what happened to you and Regan the day you, you two passed? Sorry, it's nothing there, Caroline. You know, uh, the thing, the problem here is that you're trying to reach a dog to find out what happened to Regan, I believe. And I'm saying, Richard, don't do that. Just if you want to talk to your dog, talk to your dog. If you want to talk to Regan, talk to Regan. Let's make two questions out of that. And we're going to put it on the list. So put it back in the comment. So the qu the next question is also for Richard. So it's for source frequency this time. Okay. What is the best way to raise our frequency? And do you have any advice that could help me through this time in my life? Thank you.